Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Well, by golly, it's the first weather extreme video of 2013. I'm James Spann. Happy New Year. Wet is the word today. Let's get in there and check some of the uh, Skycam shots. These were captured about 7 o'clock this morning. Yeah, I slept in. Uh, this is first off coming from Inverness, overlooking Highway 280. A light rain falling there. Just a soaking rain up in Cullman. That's our sky cam just east of town along Highway 278. But look at that. Down there in the Alabama Gulf Coast, the sun is shining. But they will get rain late today and tonight as the rain works its way south. There's your big trough off to the west. You can see another uh, short wave that's over northern California. That'll be kind of rounding the base of that and bring another batch of rain to the Gulf Coast region uh, tomorrow night or early Thursday. And we'll take a look at that. It looks like that might stay south of us. Those numbers are not going to change much all day today. Upper 40s and low 50s. I mean, it'll just be like steady as a rock with clouds and rain and obviously no winter weather woes with numbers like that. But, boy, around the nation, it's as cold as it's been all season up north. We've got some spots in uh, uh, Minnesota, uh, what, 15 below zero up there to start the day. Chicago will stay below freezing all day today for the first time in a long time. You know, they've had a long record streak of uh, days where – you know, they remained above freezing, but that will be ending today. But that really cold air stays north of us. It will kind of seep in here later in the week. And that's the rain at 722 on the radar. And that's just a good old-fashioned rain. I mean, the air is cool and stable. No thunder, no lightning, no severe weather. Just wet, beneficial rain. And that'll work its way south. And around the nation, it's awfully quiet. Uh, despite that brutally cold air, no major... Uh, winter storm issues to talk about. There's the rain for the next seven days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week, suggesting rain amounts of about one and a half inches here. A lot of that will be today. Let's check the GFS, the old global forecast system on this New Year's Day. Uh, this is the 06Z run, valid at noon local time today. Troughing is lifting out of the southwest. That new energy is on the uh, California coast right below uh, the Bay Area. And uh, down below that, yeah, what you see is what you get. Just wet. All right, now tomorrow that wave is out of here, and uh, we will be dry, but uh, it won't be sunny. In fact, I think the clouds will linger all day tomorrow with the southwest flow aloft on top of the uh, cold air, and it'll be chilly. I don't think we get out of the 40s. Uh, the GFS is printing a high of 48. We'll probably sit in the middle 40s all day. Uh, this is uh, tomorrow night at midnight. We're watching that next uh, impulse with the uh, rain over the western gulf. But uh, this run of the GFS keeps all of that south of here. We'll go to Thursday at noon. In fact, really, the, the bulk of the significant rain is even south of Mobile. So while we stay cloudy through Thursday, this is suggesting the rain will not impact us with that feature. And this is the RPM uh, Thursday morning at 6 o'clock local time. It's got the rain farther north, but again, it's well south of us. So I think we can almost take out that mention of rain for uh, tomorrow night and just stick with a cloudy and chilly type forecast with again uh, Thursday being a cool day cloudy with a high in the upper 40s uh, Friday a decent chance the sun comes back the sun should be out in full force and it's going to be cold we start the day in the middle 20s and again chilly the high in the upper 40s Saturday as we start the weekend pretty decent little energy coming in here from the uh, west as you can see, but there's just not much moisture to work with. Uh, the GFS tries to squeeze out a few sprinkles or flurries around Memphis and Little Rock and the Mississippi Delta. And uh, we might see a few sprinkles here maybe Saturday night, but, uh, you know, I just don't think it's going to amount to much of anything at all. And then this is Sunday. It turns colder. Uh, highs again in the 40s, the 540 line down to uh, Huntsville. And this is suggesting maybe a few snow flurries over the Tennessee Valley up toward Nashville. But uh, again, just not very significant. So for the weekend, chilly, kind of cloudy-ish, maybe a sprinkle or a flurry somewhere, but no big deal. 
highs in the uh, upper 40s. And Monday, a week, starting off the work week next week, uh, that looks uh, sunny and seasonal, high in the low to mid 50s, exactly where we should be for this time of the year. And the same thing on Tuesday. So those two days, Monday and Tuesday of next week, very typical weather, kind of cold mornings, highs getting up above 50 on both days. We'll check the uh, longer range. This is January 12th. This might be the most interesting setup we've seen here across the next 15 days, if by chance this is right. We all know this is pure speculation, voodoo, if you will. Uh, very cold air mass settling into the northern states, a southwest flow aloft. And boy, those are tricky. That's at 1,041 millibar high north of the Great Salt Lake. And uh, cold air flowing into that rain, and uh, that that's almost an icy look on the northern flank of that. So we'll see if by chance that feature sticks around. And on the 16th, that's all gone. And again, that would be uh, fairly seasonal. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. And again, we're on the holiday schedule. Uh, today, one video today. We go back to the regular two-a-day schedule. Tomorrow, I'll post up some uh, fresh uh, discussion notes on the blog later this afternoon. So thanks for watching. Again, have a wonderful New Year's Day and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good, like eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with, a, with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Yeah, hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bridge and doesn't catch on fire. There's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.